Hello everyone, uh, this is Muhammad Akam. Uh, today in this lecture, uh, I will discuss that how to calculate the number of blocks at superstructure in a building. Okay, so we have 2D plan. It's here. Uh, so this uh, this building or this uh, map a uh, 2D plan consists of uh, three rooms: room one, room two, and room three. Room one consists of one door uh, and one window. D1 means door number one and W1 means uh, window uh, number one. Okay, and this is uh, th in this room. Uh, this is room two. Uh, it consists of one door and uh, having a window. So this is D2. D2 uh, dimension or, or length of D2 is two feet eleven inches, eleven point one three eight inches. Okay, and this is uh, W2 means window two. Okay. So when W two here, here, and here having same dimension, therefore um, I I give them uh, W two for all. So uh, in room three, uh, this is D one having same dimension like this. Okay, so three feet eleven point one two four inches. This is D one, and this is W two and W two. Okay, having same dimension. So the exterior length of this uh, uh, this plan is. 36 feet and 4.024 inches and this is the weight of this plan this is 29 feet and 9.283 inches okay so this is all about this uh, plan and uh, i have to calculate uh, uh, the number of blocks uh, for this uh, plan so next this is a uh, dimension of doors windows uh, and lentil beams so d1 uh, is equal to door number one so this is the length and this is the height of uh, door and I multiply this by 2 because uh, we have uh, a number we have door 1 uh, and 2 and 2 in number and D2 this is door 2 uh, this is 1 in number therefore I did not multiply any uh, 1 or 2 with this because this is 1 in number so this is length and this is height so this is W1 W1 means window 1 and window 1 length is 9.824 uh, 8424 feet and this is the uh, length this is height and this is w2 means window 2 this is length this is height i am multiply this by 3 because we have a 3 and number w2 now lentil beam d1 is equal to d1 mean uh, means uh, the lentil beam uh, will be provided uh, over uh, door 1 so this is the length i have increased this by uh, 1 feet because let's see for example, if we have this door, okay, if we have this door, so lentil beam will be provided like this, okay, lentil beam will be provided like this. So I I take uh, I increase this by only one feet, six inch le at the left and six inch at the right, okay. So I increase just by uh, one foot, okay. This is six inch and this is six inch. So if this is three, if the door width is three, so the lentil beam will be four. Uh, I assume that will be four. So let's see. This is three and this is four. Okay, just increase by one feet, one foot uh, at each uh, doors and windows. Okay. So looks here. This is th uh, door two, two point nine two or something, and this is three. Okay, just increase by one uh, one foot for each for lentil beams okay so this is length and this is thickness of the and the thickness of lentil beam is this one 0 0.73 at one foot okay so this is for door, door 2 lentil beam of door 2 means the lentil beam will be uh, provided over door 2 and lentil beam um, will be provided uh, window 1 over window 1 this is length and this is uh, thickness or height of the uh, lentil beam Lentil beam uh, of W2 means uh, the lentil beam uh, over will be provided over window 2. This is this is length, this is height, and I am multiply this by 3 because we have 3 n number. Window 2, we have 3 n number. Okay. So just remember in mind that uh, height of the building is 10 feet. Okay. We because we have to use this and with the uh, incoming uh, slides. Okay. So now looks here looks here so this is wall a wall wall a okay because i i uh, for simplification 
I consider this one and this one having the same dimension, so I give them uh, same name wall a and wall b wall a okay and this is wall b having same dimensions this this and all having same dimensions okay and wall c also having same dimension like okay same and wall d i i categorize uh, i categorize these all walls to get the actual uh, length of uh, overall uh, or overall uh, plane or 2d plane okay so <coughs> to to find the number of blocks i will follow the following steps okay so i have to find the number of blocks for that uh, i have to follow uh, some steps that are that is given so uh, number step number one to find the actual length of given plan so i have to find the actual length of the plan so for that i have to add i have to add this this and overall uh, wall length okay so wall a 29 feet and some inches you you seen you see here and i multiply this by two because wall a to a number wall a one and wall a two so i multiply this by two wall b wall b and this is the length and i multiply this by three because wall three one two and three so wall three um, is three n number so therefore i multiply this by three looks here and wall c this is the length and i multiply this by two because wall c uh, is 2 and number so looks here this is wall c and this is 1 and 2 and numbers so therefore i multiply this by 2 and wall d is 1 and number and this is the length so i multiply this by only 1 okay this is wall d this is length and i multiply this by 1 so when we simplify these all so i get these results when we sum all these results so i get the overall overall sum of all we get this result okay so this is the overall length of the given plan okay the actual length of a given plan is 161.9894 feet okay this is length so i uh, the unit will be in uh, feet so uh, in step number two find the actual area of the given plan so after uh, after the um, finding uh, or calculating the length i have to find the actual area of uh, this plan okay or given plan so i have to find the actual area of this plan so for that find area we know that area is equal to length multiplied by height so we uh, we find the actual length this is the actual length and height i i told you uh, in the previous slide that remember that the uh, height of this building is 10 feet so this is the height so a uh, area is equal to this multiplied by height length multiplied by height we get this area so overall area of this building or this plan is one uh, 1619.894 square feet because this is area therefore i put the unit a in square feet okay so in square so in step number three deduct the area of doors windows and lentil beams from the area of given plan so i have to deduct the area of doors windows and lentil beam from the from this area okay but this is the given area or a calculated area of the uh, overall plan so i have to deduct the area of those because we have to we have to put uh, we have to put blocks we have to put blocks at, at the actual area not and doors windows and lentils because we have to not put the uh, not put the blocks uh, uh, on over and not put we have to not put the blocks at doors windows and lentil beam so therefore we have to deduct, to deduct this from this uh, total area so area of d1 means area of door number one so this is length this is height and i multiply this by two because of um, because d1 is two and number okay so this is the area a door two uh, this is length and this is height this is the uh, actual area of door number two then area of w1 means window one this is length this is height and i this is height and this is the area of window one area of window 2 window 2 uh, this is length this is height and i multiply this by 3 because window 2 is uh, 3 and number and this is the area so lentil beam area of d1 it means the lentil beam will be provided over the door 1 so this is length this is height and i multiply this by 2 and i get this okay i i and i discussed in previously previous uh, lecture uh, previous uh, previous uh, slide that why i why did why i take this for 
because looks here this is 3 and I, I take this 4 because I explain you I explained you that I increase this by only one foot uh, at the left six inch, six at the left and six inches at the left and six inches at the right because of providing lentil beam okay so this is the area lentil beam uh, area of door number two so I drone number two this is a length this is a thickness of lentil beam and this is the area so lentil beam uh, area of window one so this is length this is uh, height of the uh, or thickness of the uh, lentil beam and this is the area lentil beam area of window 2 this is length this is height and I am multiply this by 3 because of uh, m because 3 n number uh, window 2 is a 3 n number and this is area when when we sum all these areas so sum of all areas we get this so this is the overall area that will be deducting from the actual area to there there we will put the blocks <coughs> so now actual area of blocks working so I, I told you that we have to subtract this from this then we will get the actual area there we will put the blocks okay so this is the overall area and this is will this is the deductive area so we will get this now actual area of blocks working so we will subtract this from this we will get this so this is the overall area there we will put the uh, we will put the uh, blocks so this is the overall area and step number two find the area of <coughs> a block using in construction of the building so we have uh, we have to find the area of a single block uh, single block that are using uh, that block is using um, in constructions um, or in building construction okay so this is area length multiplied by height this is the area this is length and this is height of the block of a single block so looks here this is we have 2d uh, diagram of uh, that block this is length and this is height remember one thing in mind that height and width width and height of this block is same okay so this is the length width and height of are same so therefore I multiply this length and multiply by height or thickness okay so I get this area so we uh, we calculated we calculate this area this is 1.0895 square feet of one block okay overall area is this uh, overall area of the plan uh, is this and this is a area of a single block okay and 3d looks here this is 3d diagram of the block that are using uh, that will be using uh, in the construction so this is length and this is height i told you that uh, uh, length and uh, width and thickness of this block will be uh, is same okay so this is width and uh, uh, this is width and height both okay so this is length and this is uh, height and step number five find the number of blocks so uh, number of blocks is equal to block working area divided by area of uh, a block so here we will put here the uh, block working area that we have find looks here this is the now actual area of block working so this is the block working area and divided by a single block area so this is the single block area so now looks here and find the uh, number of blocks equal to block working area divided by area of a block so uh, this is one two two four point seven double eight one square feet as the mm, block working area and uh, this is a single block area so when we divide this by this so we will get the number of blocks so here in this project uh, we will use uh, 1124.17 uh, 448 blocks okay so this is i think this is enough for today if you have any question regard uh, this lecture so you can ask me in comment section